Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isaac and I made a new Instagram so I'm so sorry if you guys were following me on my old Instagram. I'm always here for you guys. Whenever you guys need something, I promise you that I'm always there to deliver. But let's get into this video. I made a video before talking about like getting into luxury. I didn't go into too much detail. Before I start this video, I just want to say I don't have all the answers. I don't have all the answers. I know a lot. I've experienced a lot having interviews, meeting people, having good managers, and being really active on social media and on YouTube and going shopping myself having real life experiences this is all things that I have experienced myself and it's more of what I see and what I think and what I think will benefit you so I'm coming from a good place so I don't think that I know everything I'm just here to help so don't think that I'm like oh he thinks he knows I don't I'm always open to hearing what you guys have to say and what you think would be best what I can learn so we're here to learn together I'm not trying to one-up anybody I just want to put that out there because sometimes people write me very nasty comments and they're like, oh, that's not true. It's supposed to be like this. Like, I'm not coming from that standpoint. I'm coming from a positive and encouraging place. I'm not here to be negative. I'm not here to talk down about people. I may shed some tea here and there, but it's not against anybody. Without further ado, let's get into this video. And again, you guys are more than welcome to ask me any questions anytime, a month from now, a year from now, whenever you want, just message me if you have what in their interview. First of all, okay, there's so much to cover. Say for instance, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Fendi, Burberry, Prada. You go into an interview and it's a luxury place. Dress immaculate. Always look great. Like, one up yourself. That's just all I gotta say is after doing all my interviews, I dress good. And then I see the manager, I'm like, ooh, they dress perfect. You just wanna look good. You wanna feel like you fit in. And again, there's no, there's no secret recipe. There's no, there's no steps about like how, what they really want. It's just, it's just whatever it is. One day, they're just looking for someone that they just need one quality and everything else about that person doesn't really matter. Getting hired in luxury is just, if it happens, it happens. That's just how it is. That's just, in my opinion, that's just how it is. There's no like, oh, like that person, that's the only type of person that we can have. There's only this one type of person. No, it's not like that. I think luxury is open to anybody. Anybody can do it. It's just who you are as a person and what you can do and what you can offer. I'm not gonna go on for that. That's just what I think. And I'm like I said, I'm coming from a positive, encouraging, and helpful place. So when you come across people that are negative and like, they're like unapproachable, that's just who they are. And maybe the company wanted that type of person. Maybe they became that type of person. Maybe they're like that with only certain people. I don't know. For who I am and what I do and what I want, the example that I want to set is to be a positive and helpful and loving and encouraging and like an approachable sales associate. And I want more people to be like that. And maybe this video will help inspire them to become a better person. When you go into the interview, dress nice, have a positive attitude, be professional, talk coherent. You want them to understand you. You want to be in control, have a good positive energy, have a positive vibe. And you're going to walk in and you're going to see the associates, especially if it's a slow store. They're going to look at you. Don't worry about them. Focus on yourself. Focus on the interview and focus on the person that's um, going to be interviewing you because trust me, I, there's some interviews where I've been in and like they give you staff. You probably are not going to do good here or this is new and it might be hard for you. I've heard it before. Ignore them but be happy because they're probably going to talk about you after you leave. You never know. Maybe they might not. Let yourself shine. This is the time to really brag about yourself. Practically any interview, they're going to ask, tell me about yourself. That's the, always the first thing and people are always like, oh, I don't know. First of all, you should know about yourself. So this is the time before you interview to actually think, okay, who am I? You want to think like, what have I done? What have I accomplished? What do I like to do? If you met me out of work, what would you need to know about me? What kind of person am I? Like, what kind of things do I do for other people? What do I like to do in my spare time? Really tell them who you are. Like, some people are like, oh, tell me about yourself. You kind of like talk about like what you do at work. But you want to convey it in a way where it's like intriguing, where like you're making yourself a sellable put your heart into it and you want them to be able to feel like wow this person really you know this person has a life this person has goals this person ha does things out of work this question tell me about yourself that took me some time to actually learn about how to talk about myself because I, don't, I, I really don't know how to talk about myself because there's so much that I want to talk about it's like where do I begin I think I kind of start off with the basics and then I, I work my way down I work my way down and then I work it to a close so kind of like when you're writing a paragraph you start off at the top the main thing and then you kind of work your way down it's I don't know what I'm saying I'm I'm terrible at this oh my gosh in the most simplest way when someone when the interview is gonna be like okay tell me about yourself what do you do what do you like to do what are you doing in your spare time 
who are you, what what describes you, and how it can correlate to the place that you're gonna be interviewing at. I think that's the best advice I can give. So when they ask me, Isaac, tell me about yourself. I'm gonna tell them, this is what I like to do. This is what I'm doing. This is the type of person that I am. And another big thing is you know what you wanna say next. You don't wanna have to really think. It's okay to you know stop for a second and think, but if you stop for a second, get into the moment. Get Jump right back into it like as if that question didn't stump you. You don't want them to know that the questions are stumping you. Always have an answer for it and be confident in that answer and keep going with the answer and let the ball keep let the ball keep rolling. Like you want them to let them know that you're in control. Have you ever had like that one senior associate that you worked with and like they just have all the answers and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so good. So it's good to really practice and talk to yourself, talk to other people, talk to your managers, talk to your associates, talk to friends about like what should I say? What do you think I should talk about? What do people say about you? What do they how do people describe you? I think that can really help um, answering this question but if you need me to go more into detail about this question you're always welcome to ask me and if you want to know about like what I say just message me and I'll tell you guys and I also get I get this question a lot too when I interview places they ask oh so how did you find out about us that question I don't know like the real answer that they're really looking for because it can go two ways because they can be like oh how did you find out about us I feel like the wrong way to answer that would just would be like oh I was on Craigslist and I found it and I thought that I should apply I feel like and that that's honestly that could be the answer but I feel like that might not be the right answer that you would want to give you know what I mean like honestly in my opinion like they're gonna want someone that's gonna be like oh well I, I want I've been wanting this position so I've been checking and checking and checking to see if it's been open and then I saw that there was an opening so I applied right away like I feel like that's like the better route that you want to go with in a way I think that's the more safer route you want to go with so in my opinion after having these kind of interviews at places like I feel like it's always better to go with the safer answer you don't want to give them an indication where it's like a second or like you were kind of just thinking about it or you're not so when they kind of get that opinion they'd be like oh well is this person really want this job or are they this are they just trying to apply to get a job so make it seem like this is the only job for you this is the only job that you wanted to apply because and honestly everybody applies for multiple jobs and they know that but don't tell them that <laughs> tell them the safe answer most likely they'll have your resume um, most of, I never bring in my resume because usually they're gonna have it and if not then they can just go in the office and they can print it out but you never know you never know what kind of manager or store director or interview you're gonna get they're gonna probably gonna be like oh where's your resume and you're gonna be like majority of the time they've always had my resume they're gonna go like over your resume some don't some don't really need to because maybe they looked over before and they already know and probably they just want to get to know you they don't really care about the paper this is how you answer so they're gonna be like oh so you worked at Mac so what did you do there um, what kind of people did you meet they're gonna ask like five questions in one question just answer the first question that they asked or the biggest question or you can answer the question that you're most comfortable answering within all of those questions because I don't know how many interviews I had they asked me five questions in one question okay I don't know why they do that but it's maybe might too confuse you I don't know but really listen to the questions really like let in you want to show yourself that you're actively listening and because you don't want to be like wait what can you repeat the question they're gonna be like oh my god he's so he wasn't listening he's so stupid because that's what i would honestly do if i'm in an interview with someone and they're like wait can you no yeah, i understand i have done it before they did ask me a question where it's like wait what why would you phrase it that way like they phrase it in a way it's too it's they're doing too much in the in the question who do you expect to honestly be able to answer that okay no one when they ask you like oh what did you do over here talk about your highlights Give examples about what you did specifically. Talk about what you did there uh, and talk about the result. So this is what I did, this is how I did it, and this is the result. That's the one, two, three, that's the three steps that how you should answer that question. And when I say give examples, be very specific as to what you did and how it benefited you, but more so how it benefited the people around you, the customers, your management, your team. Like what specifically did you do to help motivate your team what specifically did you do to raise your numbers you want to be very specific because I'm gonna because you don't want them to be like oh um, so did you do this you don't want them to like be like tell me more tell me more you want to be like 
detail, detail, detail because you want them to be like, oh, okay, this person knows the steps that it takes to reach their numbers, to build a team, to get clients to come in. He knows already, like it's in the back of their head. So you want to have those answers that it's like, oh shit, this person knows, this person knows. Or 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 you want to give off the vibes like, oh damn, I can learn from this person because this person got new ideas that I never heard of. Wow them, surprise them and be confident in your answers and be like, no, this is what I'm doing and this is why I'm good at it and this is why it works I, and I can do this. Like, don't be sassy, but be confident when you're doing the interview. Let, this is not new to me. I know what I'm doing. I know I can do it and I'm going to do a perfect job at it. That's not, that's not how I talk in the interview, but that's the kind of energy that you should instill in yourself before the interview to really let them know, like, I can do this. Girl, I can do this. Tell yourself right now, girl, I can do this. This is easy. This is what I want. This is my passion. So put that in yourself. Put that good energy in yourself because let me tell you, all the time before you interview, you get nervous. You're like, oh my God, oh my God. Get away from the store, wherever you are. Kind of go a couple stores away or not in anyone's sight and just talk to yourself and be like, this is what I want. I know I can do this. My name, my name is Tyler. My name is Brandon. My name is Michael and I can do this. This is what I want. Or you can say a prayer if you're a Christian be like God I, I know that you will make anything happen and I know that when the time is right you'll make it happen so that's just the kind of energy that you need to have in your interview I really think that, that that's what my opinion is like I said there's not just one specific way to go about it it's however you think this is just my opinion it's my opinion though if it's a sales position they're gonna ask about like oh how did you reach your numbers how did you clientele how did you reach out to your clients what do you do like tell me about it <laughs> <laughs> you want to be like, oh, well, of all the 25 associates that we had, I said at the top 10% um, of all of them, I made up um, 13, 15% of our store goal. Um, we make anywhere from 2.2 million to 5.5 million a year. And our, our goal is blah, blah, blah. Um, each month I make my goal um, by over 2%, 10%. Um, we're not only made by sales schools, but we have to also sell watches or we have to also sell this and I've always made this and um, because I've always made my numbers, I've become an exemplar in the store and I, um, I'm openly clienteling with my customers because every new customer that comes in, I want them to be helped by me because um, I have the most expertise, stuff like that. Um, how you clientele, honestly, this question, this question isn't that hard. If you're not new to luxury or if you've been shopping at luxury, like what do they do? They take down your number, they get your email, they can get your address. That's the basic stuff, your little information, but there's more to it than just that information. Like you, when you clientele, especially in luxury, the clientele is to really get to know this person, get to know everything about them. The small little details, what do they like to do? Their favorite color so that you know like when they come in like oh they like the color blue here's all the blue bags here's the blue shoes um their shoe size so that like oh can i see the shoe you already get in the back and they're like oh my god i remember he remembered my shoe size small little details like that mean so much their favorite candy their favorite drink um because after the, maybe like your customers have to spend ten thousand when they spend ten thousand and they come in then on their next visit you bring them their favorite drink they're gonna be like oh my god they want to feel special so when you have those small little details about them when you get to learn all about your customers customers and it really builds the relationship and that'll really help you in the long run it's gonna come to a point where it's like you're not even just like asking them questions just to put it in your clientele book it comes to a point where it's just like you actively ask them them questions and it comes natural and that's a really good trait to have where it just comes natural to find out about that person and have them to find out about you have an open relationship with them let their and let the manager know or the interviewer know that you want to know everything about them because it means so much to you oh and building a customer relationship relationship uh, like a genuine one especially is very crucial to the success of the brand because having customers is what's gonna drive money <laughs> they're gonna it, it's a luxury store so they're probably gonna want to know like oh does this person know about luxury and honestly ask yourself do you know about luxury what do you really know so they're gonna ask if you have luxury experience if you ever worked in luxury what does luxury mean to you so honestly think to yourself like what is luxury so when you go shopping or when you are, have been working in luxury or what is your idea of luxury luxury is not only just retail 
luxury is in the way that we speak, the way that we act, how we do things, how, how we communicate. It's in everything. So luxury isn't just one thing, it's everything. The luxury is being an expert. I, and, and honestly, there's, like I said, this is just my opinion. You really want to think like, oh, what do I think? So give your answers, give what you think, and like, and always be true to yourself. Don't, don't really listen so much about what other people are telling you to say or what you think that the right answer is. Stay true to yourself. And if you think that that's the right answer, honestly believe that you should stick with what you think and what you believe because you don't want to um, give an answer where you're not really fully sure that you think it's right. Because in the end, you're going to be like, oh, I wish I, I wish I said what I thought I should have said. So always stick to what you think that you should say and what you think is right. I know I'm making a video to help you, but if there's something that you don't agree with, you don't agree with it. And think what you think, say what you say, be you. And because in the end, um, they're going to be hiring you. They don't want to hire someone that's not being authentic to themselves. Above all, be true to yourself in this interview. What I think luxury, luxury is, like I said, giving them a grand experience. And it's how I talk to them. And it's how detailed I am. Someone who really cares about the customer and gives them everything and excites them and invites them back and someone that's in contact with them and how they interact with them and how they know so much about the brand and how much they storytell. I think that's what luxury is and, and luxury is going above and beyond. It's, it's not only taking them to the door but it's walking them a little bit further. It's not just about the sale. It, sometimes you can just come in and just talk and get to know them. That's what luxury is to me. To me and I think you can and I think a lot more of it too but I can go on and on and on about luxury I'm not an expert about it but um, I would say I know a lot about it and I'm just trying to help you guys they're gonna ask like oh why do you want to work here and I think that's a good question to ask like I think this part is where you should refer to the qualifications that the company wants explain how you can relate to the job duties that they want you to perform and talk about like how you know that you can do it with the personal side talk about what you've been doing in your life and how this is gonna benefit you and, and how it's gonna benefit them and how how you know that you can do it why you want to work there it's an easy question really think to yourself before the interview like why do i want to work at chanel do you like their core ethics do you like what they stand for do you like their vision is their product like just you just can't take it out of your head or do you like the customers that come in or do you hear good things about the company and you just know that you're gonna stick there forever or is this brand gonna be a challenge for you that you want because you want to be able to challenge yourself every single day and become a more stronger and better and more helpful person for not only your yourself up for your team and that you want to grow with the company like there's so much reasons that you can really go into it so I think this answer shouldn't be one that you should really be stuck on I think this is another question that should come easy and natural all your answers should be very natural you don't want to have to be like oh I don't really know you should know the answer that's why I think it's really important to really practice ahead of time for your interview and to talk to yourself talk in the shower have fun with it make yourself laugh um, talk to other people watch videos on YouTube and not only it doesn't have to even relate to like retail just watch videos about like oh my interview at a car dealership or my interview at an airline learn different examples from different types of people um they're gonna talk about your skills again related to the job and they're gonna ask about like if you're doing a sales talk about like you know how to sell and again don't just be like oh i know how to sell so how do you know how to sell just already picture in your mind you're gonna have that one interviewer that's gonna be like tell me more so you know how to sell so how do you do it so already just give them the answer be like, i meet my numbers because i'm being consistent in the sale i always add on i'm making sure that i'm starting with higher price points and i'm asking them open ended questions to find out more about them so I can relate them to other products in the store I'm talking about features and benefits things like that be just like and really think about like okay what does my job that I'm at right now what do we do and if the HR department or if our DM or if our store manager was to come in like what is she always like telling us like really think like do you have that one manager that's like okay Isaac you forgot to mention um, the credit card just think in your head like okay what is my manager always bugging me on or like what is my manager's manager bugging her to always do like think that's this is the time where it's like okay this is the point where I need to impress this person and tell them be like okay because most stores all stores have problems there's gonna be times where it's like okay Isaac you're supposed to add on the bag you're supposed to add on the wallet with the bag you didn't do that so it's being consistent so letting them know that if they have problems be like oh well I'm not gonna have those problems that your associates have don't say that just let them know that you are in control and that you got this um weaknesses this question stumped me for a long time oh my god I don't want them to know about my weaknesses or I 
I don't want them to know that I'm weak. And it took me some time to really understand that we all have weaknesses and we're not all perfect and that's completely fine. This is the time to let them know that you're human and that we make mistakes. They want to know that you're going to be truthful. Like, is this person really going to tell me the things that they're not good at? And I totally fine. Tell them the truth. Like I said, be true to who you are. Let them know that you respect them enough to tell them the truth. So most likely they're going to end their interview talking about like the job, what you're going to do if you were to get hired. Um, just because they talk about like the job description, about like what you can expect to do, what the pay is. Don't think that you're going to get hired. Okay. <laughs> They'll keep the same energy and actively listen and just be like, okay, just really accept and let the interviewer talk because you don't want to interrupt them. But just keep, and I know a lot of the time you're going to be like, mm-hmm, okay. Oh, okay. Don't forget to talk. <laughs> don't be like, don't just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Be like, oh, okay. So that they know, like, op talk, open your mouth. Remember to open your mouth and remember to make sounds. Something like that, okay? But have an answer. Oh, he's cute. Sorry, I got distracted. And then I've also got like, oh, where do you live? You can answer it in a way where it's like, oh, I don't live too far, but I always make sure that I have enough time ahead to make sure that I get to places on time. Um, I never like to be late, so making sure that I'm always here on time is not gonna be a problem for you. And most likely you're gonna be like, oh, okay. But I have had interviews, interviewers were like, what city do you live in? How far do you live? How many minutes is it gonna take? I've had interviewers like that, so whatever you feel comfortable answering, if you're just if you're just gonna be like, fuck it, just answer it, just answer the question. I did talk a lot in this video, but I hope that this was helpful to you. This is the questions that I get the most. They ask a lot more, they may not ask a lot more, they may just be three questions, they may be 15 questions, you never know. You guys are always more than welcome to ask me if you guys have any questions. I'm always here to help you. I hope that you guys have a great day, and don't come for me in this video. I'm here to help you guys and I'll see you guys later. Bye!